All right, guys. It is a hot, sticky summer night here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. It is, uh, Lord, we have stumbled into the probably the hottest night of the year on a lot of the planet, maybe even including here. That would be Tuesday night, July 19th, 2022, which might go down in history as the hottest day in in history. I don't know. We'll uh, have to see, but I'm not here to talk about the, the global heat wave. I'm here to talk about plankton. Uh, uh, of all things. Now, I, I, several of my alert, or shall we say not so alert listeners, have sent me versions of this uh, newest doomer porn going around social media. This uh, That makes Umer, his name is Hack, someone told me. I, I mean, this story makes anything out of Umer Hack's mouth Okay, sound, uh, you know, like Elon Musk. Uh, and what I started noticing when I was clicking on the links that you guys are sending me is pretty much an identical story. The wording of it is identical. And uh, so I, I, I just picked one. So... This one is from this absolute uh, Doomer porno channel called Strange Sounds. Strange Sounds, Amazing, Weird, and Unexpected Phenomena. Yes, and so, uh, and the title of the way they headline this story is Atlantic Plankton All but wiped out in catastrophic loss of life. Yes, and so I said, okay. I, you know, I Googled it. Like, uh, okay, who is covering this story? Uh, here is our empty oceans. Here is Atlantic Ocean pretty much dead, says scientist. As you know, as plankton disappears, uh, here is resaterra.com. Here is democraticunderground.com. Here is some guy named Juan Cole. Here is the National Scott. Researchers warn that the Atlantic is pretty much dead. Here, right here on Reddit. Reddit, uh, right here on Reddit, Scott's team's research finds Atlantic plankton all but wiped out. Yes, then you have tigerdroppings.com. Uh, so, uh, we have tigerdroppings.com joining Reddit uh, in the Doomer Porn uh, uh, Award here. So, according to Reddit... Scott's team's find, research finds Atlantic plankton all but wiped out. And the over and over and over and over, you find the words plankton all but wiped out. You find the word catastrophic. You find nearly dead. You find empty oceans. This goes on and on and on. And it's all uh, coming out uh, over the past couple of days. This, this is absolute over-the-top doomer porn that we're that we're screwed. Uh, that the basis of the food chain is 90% extinct. And uh, but you notice not one mention anywhere in the mainstream media. So I'm just going to read. This is the strange sounds version, which is the identical story, okay? Because this was a mass mailing press release that was sent out to all of these clueless morons who do absolutely nothing, nothing to check the, uh, the most fundamental 
background check uh, 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 of this story. So, you know, I, I mean, I was getting sucked into it. Uh, I've got a damn journalism degree, and, and I was getting sucked into this horse shit. Okay. And this is the same story that's being all over, uh, all over the, the Doomer channels. You can probably find s some of my colleagues in the Doomosphere uh, parroting this crap. Okay. Atlantic plankton all but wiped out in catastrophic loss of life. Did you knock off your Donald Trump hat? Jay, have you had enough of Donald Trump hat? <clears throat> Scientists have discovered scientists have discovered a catastrophic loss of life in our oceans. This is really bad. It's the very bottom of the food chain. Yes. An Edinburgh, you know, Scotland an Edinburgh-based research team, that, that, that is the, an Edinburgh-based research team fears plankton, the tiny organisms that sustain life in our seas, has all but been wiped out. Yes. After spending two years collecting water samples from the Atlantic Ocean, this landmark research, I love the term, this landmark research, which they do not have any link to the landmark research. This landmark research blames chemical pollution from plastics, farm fertilizers, and pharmaceuticals in the water. Previously, it was thought the amount of plankton had halved have since the 1940s, but the evidence, the evidence gathered by the Scots suggest 90%, 90% of the plankton, you know, in the Atlantic Ocean has now vanished. And then they interrupt the story with protect yourself against dangerous EMP solar flare and lightnings, lightnings with EMP shield, the best protection around. I think Andy the gardener, you might want to buy an EMP shield. Yes, and then of course, they link you over to the Health Ranger store. You know, this is uh, Mike Adams, the Health Ranger who is, of course, one of the single biggest clueless morons on the planet. It was the health ranger who predicted after, uh, you know, the Fukushima disaster in March of 2011, that within one year, the northern hemisphere would be uninhabitable. All right, we have 10% off lightning and EMP protection. Yes. Then, of course, we have the water filtration systems for the, uh, you know, we have the water filtration systems uh, to, for the survivalist on your Christmas shopping list. Okay. The, back to the story. The scientist, the scientist warn there are only a few years left before the consequences become catastrophically clear when fish, whales, and dolphins become extinct with grave, grave implications for the planet. Yes. In the report, the researchers from the Global Oceanic Environmental Survey Foundation, and I highly suggest you go and Google who the hell the Global Oceanic Environmental Survey Foundation is, uh, for uh, a little bit of source credibility, quoting the the very uh, important sounding 
Oceanic, Global Oceanic Environmental Survey Foundation, quote, an environmental catastrophe is unfolding. We believe humanity could adapt to global warming and extreme weather changes. It is our view that humanity will not survive the extinction of most marine plants and animals. Close quote. The findings have prompted calls for urgent action on a number of fronts. As observers warn, the promises of COP26 to ease the climate crisis have, so far, amounted to little. Yes. Fiona Nichols, an ocean campaigner for Greenpeace UK, said, quote, Our oceans can be our allies in fighting climate change, but there is simply no time to waste. Anyway, guys, this goes on and on and on and on. And, uh, I mean, they have YouTube videos. They link you to all sorts of YouTube videos. Yes, YouTube videos to uh, back up their claims. All right. We have one, two, three, four four YouTube videos, which of course have exactly zero to do. Nowhere in any of the videos does it say that 90% of the plankton are, are, have been wiped out of the Atlantic Ocean. Okay? No mention of it. Uh, there is not one story on the mainstream media uh, about the single biggest environmental catastrophe so obviously is that goddamn mainstream media covering up the biggest environmental story of the year possibly of the uh, of the century that 90 percent of the Atlantic Ocean's plankton has been wiped off the face of the earth nowhere mentioned Reuters News, Associated Press, uh, The Guardian is ignoring this story, The New York Times, no, we're going to pass on it. Uh, I, I don't see a story in the New York Post uh, 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 about this crap. And uh, so I go over to Yahoo News instead of just a general Google, and I do search Yahoo News, and unbelievably, the mainstream, well, sort of the mainstream media, and this is this outfit, ARS Technica, which I have read from before, and uh, wow, it took me, it took me about two minutes, two minutes, okay guys, all you little doomers, uh, so wrapped up, uh, in your doomer porn, take two minutes out of your doomer porn when you see crap like this and do two minutes of research. ARS Technica, beware of bad science reporting. No, we have not killed 90% of all plankton. A very misleading article on marine life has been getting a lot of attention. Gee, do you think so? For the past few days, it has been hard to look at social media without coming across a scary looking report from the Scottish newspaper, the Sunday Post, which is now, you know, gone off like wildfire, titled, so the Sunday Post one was titled, Scott's Team's Research Finds Atlantic plankton all but wiped out in a catastrophic loss of life, which is the identical word-for-word -word story that has been picked up by all of these, uh, you know, these people, the, these doomer porn addicts who uh, just automatically uh, repeat this crap. 
You know, it, 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 this is why doomers are a laughing stock. It's crap like this. You know, Reddit doesn't doesn't Reddit doesn't collapse. Reddit. And, you know, I I, uh, I I stopped dealing with those idiots over there at collapse Reddit. Uh, I, I you know I dealt about six months. Don't they have moderators? Don't they have people over there at Reddit? You, you, you know with uh, the brain of Tigger the Tiger, who could have gone and spent two minutes researching this crap. But it's all over Reddit now. Collapse Reddit. I bet the story is still up there. This is why I have no respect for Collapse Reddit. All right? Don't get me going off on uh, Reddit.com's collapse. I, you know, it, it's, it's, it's just the amount of crap out there, guys. Uh, okay. Reads the breathless headline. The article claims that a survey of plankton in the ocean found that, quote, evidence suggests that 90% has now vanished. Mm -hmm. The article then goes on to predict the immediate collapse of our biosphere. There is just one problem. There is just one problem. The article is utter rubbish. It's crap, guys. It's bullshit. From the first word, from the headline on through, they're, they're trying to sell you EMP and lightning shields, all right? They're trying to sell you uh, water filtration systems. Uh, they probably got bug out bags for sale. Uh, do you get it? You're being played for a fool. And, and it, it embarrasses me that uh, my own subscribers are, uh, are, are, are sending me this shit w without, uh, you know, spending two minutes that it would have taken, uh, you, you know, to expose this crap. The Sunday Post uses as its source a preprint manuscript, meaning it has not been peer-reviewed from lead author Howard Dryden at the Global Oceanic Environmental, Environmental Survey. There is no denying that our oceans are in trouble. Wow. The study notes in its introduction that they, meaning the oceans, have lost 50% of all marine life over the past 70 years and that number is rising at around 1% per year. So do the math. But the Post article goes further than the preprint, citing plankton counts collected by 13 ships with 500 data points. Wow. And then they break all of this down, blah, blah, blah. 500 data points collected from 13 vessels? Sounds pretty impressive. But David Johns, head of the Continuous Plankton Recorder Survey, describes it as, quote, a literal drop in the ocean. Johns would know the Continuous Plankton Recorder survey has been running since 1958 and has accumulated more than 285,000 samples, you know, and their data points. Um, so, what does the continued continuous plankton survey has indeed cataloged a loss of plankton over the years? but nothing close to the 90% loss claimed by Dryden. Quoting uh, this guy, I guess quoting uh, this Johnson guy, quote, we have noticed long-term changes 
the northerly movements of plankton species as the surface water warms, changes, changes in seasonality in some taxa, invasives, etc., etc. And we work with a wide group of scientists and governmental bodies providing evidence for marine policy. As a group, we had an email discussion and no one agreed with this report and no one had heard of a guy, uh, this Dryden character, uh, other than one person and she was not complimentary at all close quote. In addition to the small sample size, the preprint makes no mention of how or, wh or when the plankton samples were collected. Quote, as Johns explains, quote, if those samples were taken during the day in surface waters, there is likely lower numbers of zooplankton also, there is no mention of what magnification the researchers were using. If you were using a lower power microscope, you would struggle to see the small stuff in warm open ocean Atlantic waters. Much of the zooplankton is pretty small and they might have trouble picking them out." Close quote. As noted above, the paper the Post based its article on has not been peer-reviewed, an apparent theme for Dryden, quote, it seems he doesn't really have a scientific profile. None of his work seems to be peer-reviewed, which is obviously important when you are making any bold claims, close quote. And Dryden is making bold claims, although he raises the very real problem of ocean acidification. He has appeared to blame the problem, you know, about plankton on microplastics and not climate change caused by a massive increase of atmospheric CO2 levels, CO2 levels. However, in this preprint, Dyden and his co-authors do identify atmospheric CO2 as the driver of ocean acidification, which they warn will result in the loss of 80 to 90 percent of all marine life by 2045. So anyway, go, anyway guys, uh, you just can't be too careful. I mean, we're, we're all guilty of this. And, it, and uh, you know, it's, it's when, when my fellow doomers start sounding like uh, these ignorant Trump-tard uh, right-wing conspiracy wackos just spouting this crap with, at, with no basis, in fact or with, well, we won't say no basis, over and over again what it is, usually with these, uh, with these uh, conspiracy theories, there, there is a kernel of truth. All right, and, and plankton, in my, in my guess, plankton probably will be 90% extinct, and it probably will be faster than we expect, but, uh, I, I, anyway, come on, guys. Use a little bit, a little tiny bit of discernment and critical thinking. Uh, when, when, you're, when you look at this, do a tiny bit of research to, to find out uh, if, if, uh, if this is some crackpot. Uh, with, with no source credibility whatsoever, trying to sell you an EMP shield to protect you from solar flares. Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest. I, you know, I, I almost did this as a serious rant. I mean, I came uh, too close to, to doing this as a serious rant. So anyway, I just had to... Uh, to warn 
my uh, alert readers to do a little bit of background work before spreading this crap and making all of us doomers look like Trump tarred conspiracy wackos. Yes, little dog. You ready to get down? He said, Bob, I've had enough ranting for one day. Bye, guys. Yes, Tigger, do you want your Donald Trump hat back on? Bye, guys.